Good morning, my young artists. Today, we are going to meet a famous contemporary artist. But before that, let us take a look at one of his paintings. Scan with your eyes from top to bottom, from left to right, from the center outwards. You may even pause the video to take a closer look. Then, take your STW chart and fill it up based on what you see, what you think, and what you wonder while you're taking a look at the picture. The painting that you have just observed is called Vega Noor. It was painted by Victor Vasarelli, a Hungarian-French artist. Here, nothing is as it appears to be. These optical illusions are the work of Victor Vasarelli, the father of op art. His works continue to fascinate to this day. Vasarelli's work arrived on the scene during a time of transition, the 50s and 60s. At this turning point, his work effectively corresponded to the idea of modernity. Everything that was modern at the time was materialized in his work, which also influenced music, fashion, design, and architecture, all areas. He was the artist who represented popular culture. Pierre Vasarely is the sole grandson of the op art pioneer. Since his grandfather's death in 1997, Vasarely has run the Vasarely Foundation. He was most interested in creating optical illusions. He wanted to make art exciting and accessible to a wide audience. A lot of his work is about the effect on the human retina. The visitor, the observer, realizes, perhaps for the first time, that he can actively play a part in this. He's not simply a spectator, he's a participant. He became a champion of kinetic art, creating a new artistic language of geometric shapes and colors. Vasadeli became known as the father of op art and a conduit between the art world and industry. His logo for carmaker Renault is legendary. The retrospective also gives visitors the rare opportunity to see little-known works from private collections. What struck me during the preparation of the exhibition was his vision for a new urban civilization. During the housing crisis, people moved into cities, which were built quickly, and the results were not always pretty. In 1976, Vasarely made his vision of a harmonious building reality. His Vasarely Foundation Museum is a classic example of op art. Op art is a form of abstract art that gives the illusion of movement in which conflicting patterns emerge and overlap. It started in the 1960s when a group of artists became interested in the scientific properties of color and line and the ways in which the human eye processes information. Victor Vasarelli was at the core of the movement, which is why he was nicknamed Father of Op Art. The painting Vega Noor is one of a number of paintings the artist created in which an orderly grid seemingly swells and pops out of the picture plane. Vasarelli used warm colors like orange and yellow, which appear to advance in space, which is why he chose these colors for the area surrounding the central squares, so that the cells became progressively thinner and smaller towards the edge of the canvas, as if they are disappearing into space. 
This work takes its title from Vega, one of the brightest in the night sky. And Vassarelli explained, This composition expresses the extension, the expansion of the universe. So today, just fill up your STW chart.